lots of initiation gain. Potentially, you're blinking Shadowfin, you're blinking the last series where it went to Disasterville for the dire side. This time, Secret feel a little bit more confident, confident rather than the level one game. Here they go, Zyori. They're going to oh, cross it's paths. Like deja vu all over again, but this time the Kush Monster's there to break it in half. Two on the high ground, a few down below. The Raze is doing a lot of damage. First Blood goes to S4. Oh. Going to be taken down as well. It's a two for nil, but this time it's the Dire that hold it. Hello. Very nicely done. We How are you? On the run, Axmo going to live. Yep. Oh, man. Three on one. No oh, one's going to be the there. Cast Maldic. is back. Yep. He's That's done for. He is done for. So, That's hey. Bad luck. Dooza putting in the work here. Top lane to make up for a bit of a staggering start, knowing that Chen's going to be occupied in the jungle and help is nowhere near as they're occupied bottom lane. They're trying to make him pay, and we are out of the game. All right. Come on, Slark. Oh. Lag versus lag, go. The classic matchup. Zoof calling it out right here. We're going to get back underway. It's only six minutes into this matchup. I know it feels like it's probably been a lot longer, but it's four to two advantage for Secret, and now they're going to make a go under Wraith King. They pull back his majesty, and they make him take a knee as they will bring him down immediately. Limbo could be next up. Ball lightning forward. Boom! Got him. <laughs> okay. Double kill for S4. How you doing there, Dooza? So on the resume, uh, they get a nice double, double damage up on Storm Spirit, and six to two. They're in great shape. They've given up on this aggro try. Axmo, he's almost level six. They're gonna let Zai find some farm, and this the Shadow Friend and Undershock should die here. He lives a little bit longer than planned. They find the kill, but Artizi has to go in deep for it. Gets stunned up by Christy. Is he gonna die to the tower shots? He's bottling. He'll live, but just barely. Meanwhile, up top, Axmo dives onto the Shaker, gets another kill on the Kush Monster. And all right, kind of a one for one here. Lena for Shadow Fiend, but now the push. He'll have another camp here. Utilizing that tornado has really helped his bottom line. Now in the top, Axmo taking some harassment from the Earth Shaker. Maybe just trying to bait here, but he will use the time lapse. Zai suns him under the tower, gives him the totem. No hand of God on Puppy, so he can't help him from Global. Oh, he's going to be there. Catches him with the telekinesis. Fissure oh. up in one second. If they oh. can stun him under the tower, it's a kill. I don't know if they have the damage here. They oh. do just barely The stolen Sakuchi as yeah, well. Yeah, nicely done. Well played by Kuro. The Grand Mag is himself, man. Getting it done. Good quick rotation to the top, and Zai dances around the bait. You know, forces Weaver like, oh, maybe if I just step back a bit, I can get one quick attack off and finish him off. But now they get on to Undershock here. There's going to be the lift pull back. He gets the LSA off, but can't get away. It's Kuroki now on a killing spree, getting the kill there. Arteezy gets a couple of raises off on the way out. Mm -hmm. And it's being two for one trade all day as they do lose Puppy. The Shikuchi steal has really been boating well for Kuro. Now he can get very aggressive, scout around, just harass and... Really not feel too scared about it. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, S4 finishes off the tier one tower, finds the last hit. About that, he's been the only one that's really taken the beating for his team this game so far in this top lane. So, going with the Soling Tranquil, something we've seen PPD do when he plays his uh, more support Earth Shaker. You got plenty of mana to work with, and you get the regen from your Tranquils plus great move speed. But there you can see the dive happening bottom lane, a little bit of harassment onto Axmo. And S4 will promptly pull back as he does not quite have the Orchid yet to really seal back the deal. Back up top, Requiem channeled onto Zoof. There's a slam dunk. Telekinesis, more than enough damage to bring him down. But now the Death Ward, Undershock, dro Undershock drops the Laguna, brings down Arteezy. Now Zai will try to TP home, but it won't happen. He gets interrupted, and it's a double kill for Undershock. Finally, Deuce get a nice trade and punish Secret for their aggression. Much needed kills right there. Puppy tried to help out with the Hand of God, but... Big lead, feeling confident here. Ooh, ooh, Undershock. He's invisible. S4's smoke gets broken. They know there's something nearby. Do they have any detection? Sentry wards? No, they don't. Aegis is on Artor. Don't forget. Spirit Bomb onto the, uh, the Brewmaster. But they juice S4 with the laser. Now the follow-up is here. Christy maybe in some trouble. Axmo goes down straight away. Big dunk on the backside. And now Mr. Steal Your Girl. That'll be the end of the Aegis. Christy comes back to life from the reincarnation. Maybe, Ooh. just maybe they can go for it here. They can. Wraith King's down. Puppy now getting uh -oh. focused. They're using him to bait. Axmo comes back in. He bought back for this. Can they bring oh, him down man. once more? Puppy goes down to the urn of all things. Now the Cushmaster falls to the Death Ward. Puppy not the DC'd. clean fight that Secret wanted. He's been DC'd. He never came back. Was he not there? I mean, someone no. was controlling the creeps very well in the back lines to keep probably, some lockdown. Probably Zai. I'm yeah, not gonna someone lie. was doing it. As I soon mean, as Zai died, it's like, all right, guys, I got puppy. Don't. They worry. were keeping Limbo, the Witch Doctor, in check along with Undershock and Lena. The problem is, is there wasn't a fall with the lockdown. But S4 is now making it go into Axmo here. Jumps back, jumps forward, gets the kill. There's it's going to be Kuroki, moving in. Secret kind of showing like, hey, we can do this with four. 
No yep. problem. Nicely done. Okie dokie. So, an awkward fight, but Secret do find the advantage at the end. A very small one at that. And forcing the Weaver to buy back, and then he, of course, sooner rather than later. Once Zoof gets a Blink Dagger, things will get a little more difficult. He's about halfway there. Chen has reconnected, but we'll see how long Puppy can hang around. People who, uh... Put a lot on the bets for Secret, knowing it could have been an easy result. Maybe a bit nervous about these DCs, but top lane, Undershock, the one who should be a bit nervous, getting caught out from S4. But a turnaround, Yule slams down the LSA with the Laguna Blade follow-up, gets the kill, and now an Unleash of Fury comes out from Arteezy as he dominates with the Requiem right there. Uh, one for two, maybe one for three. Weaver in the Yules. Nope, follow-up's not going to be there. Mega kill streak gets ended, though. The Shadow Fiend picks it up as he kills the Lina. So he'll get a nice network. Top lane with rotations coming out. This, this, this could be, master. yeah, this could be bad. Dire Vision, here you go. They see a few of the heroes. They see at least three. Now they see four as it gets revealed. Axmo shows himself. The cast doing a lot of work onto Kuro and Zai. Kuro forced to retreat right away. Bruce Splits come out. Rubik goes down. And I think Secret were hoping for just a wraparound onto the Brewmaster. Little did they know that Dooza were ready for it. They had all five heroes nearby ready to rock and roll. Now Puppy will get left behind, put up in the Yules, brought down, stunned up, and now he is put six feet under. Two for nil going the way of Dooza. But S4 is split pushing, so maybe this is not quite worth it, but he will have an Orchid coming out pretty close to that 20 minute mark, actually. Yeah, you could just tell. They were hoping to get an easy pick on the core there in the bottom lane. But those TP rotations coming in from Dooza. I don't know if they print it to Dooza, not giving Secret any undue opportunities. They've stayed pretty tight. The buddy system is in full effect here. And Secret not, not able to run over them like uh, some people thought they might be able to. You can always chalk it up to server issues and lag delays at the start. But the fact of the matter is, is Secret should be able to still hold strong here after their early boost. That's what we're dancing really with them. But, fight, but yeah, no, they Can't definitely deny. are. Undershock. Gonna he get scouted so out. So Takes out the wave. Here. I guess he didn't see Zai. So Zai moves in. Oh. Now the back of a Yule setup. And there's that return Yules. But it doesn't matter. And even a dunk. Just Great a play from Zai there, though. Artur did not have it timed perfectly. But he comes in. He's got the totem. So no way Lena could do that double Yules like you were talking about. I think about. Lena was just like blind. Like she was just blinded by the lane. Walked right past Zai without seeing yep. him. Now on the bottom, Christy in some trouble. Great King is level 11. So he does have an ultimate here. S4 brings him down the first time. Support is inbound. Kuro and. And Artur on their way down, and yeah, Wraith King definitely going to fall. His team smokes up to try and come rendezvous, but it won't happen. Blink Daggers are plenty. One on the Brewmaster now, and one on the Earthshaker. Feels like Dooza are just surprised by a Secret being able to strike all over the place. Arteezy was just top lane helping. Arteezy almost sandwiched mid, blinks out before Undershot can get off the Yules. Dooza still grouped up, hunting around the jungle. They're staying alive because of this, but it's also limiting their farming. Weaver forced to go BKB as his first Ooh, Limbo going to be caught. Fissure yep. sets it up. Jump forward from S4, who's back from his DC. But they don't get the kill. Oh, lag continues here. He like, could. Artur's laughing. He's like, yeah, that's a freebie. <laughs> oh, and very unfortunate. Axmo comes in, scouted out. Zoof right behind him. There is a level 2 dunk available on the Shaker to show off his blink dagger if need be. He TPs out. Meanwhile, S4 getting stalked by Axmo. So going on to Undershock. It looks like S4 should be able to clean up this kill. Yep, finds the Lena. Now on the other side, Courier flying in. That's a dire Courier. Never mind. As for Arteezy, he gets the Yule's mid lane. Goes toe-to-toe -to -toe here with the Wraith King, who does not have the ultimate up. Needs 20 more seconds. Unleashes the Requiem. Big damage, but he's eating all that damage from the Death Ward. It's going to get canceled finally, but... The damage has been done. Arteezy goes down a three-for-one trade. Kuroki trying to get away. Gets a rock to the back of the head here. And now Axmo should clean up. Jump in. Oh. Comes out from Zai. Gets the stun. Gets the kill. And now on the other side of it, it's just Zoof that's alive. He goes back into pan. What on earth? Yeah, there's like frantic pings happening inside the base. Don't really know what's happening behind the closed doors of the secret play right now. But trying to make the best of it here. Your tinfoils hats. Mid lane, they make the jump onto Lena. Immediate self yules. Undershot, gonna get pulled in here from the vortex. Jump forward, and well, Lena gets brought down. Axmo shows up. Blink in stun. We'll connect on S4, but they kind of half commit for that, and now your Rayfire Blast is gonna be stolen. 
from Kuroki. So they end up giving a, a little bit more there after already losing their Lena. Yeah, with Lena down, maybe Secret have some options in the Roche pit. BKB now picked up by the Weaver, but there's initiation down bottom. Zip forward right onto Zoof. He does have a split. Now the team will come in. S4 in some trouble, but we'll be able to zip around to make the best of it. The Death Lord doing a lot of damage. All heal from Chen. They're forced to retreat. The Witch Doctor getting some really key ultimates off this game. Was Kuro able to steal it? No, he was not. Ooh, jump Kuroki, Ray Fire Blast. He steals the Death Ward. Can he live? Oh, barely puts it down, but it's not going to be enough. They are starting to swarm past the tower. They get the Cyclone on the Puppy. Puppy, Ray Fire Blast connects. He Nowhere to he go. Dies. Oh, hello. The Crush Monster. Jumps in, Fissure follow-up, takes Wraith King down, but it's just his first life. Oh. Now Zai's got nothing. Arteezy is back, not in the game, but his hero. Going oh, to town right man. now, Requiem, and they can't quite ball it up. way over commits for that. He dives into the Tier 3 to try and get Puppy. S4 comes back and just destroys him. That was not the play from the Brewmaster there. Really wanted that Shen, and Puppy stays alive. That's a big gain for Team Secret. Utilizing the Shadow Fiend pretty well here. He's got 3,600 gold. <laughs> How to get the most out of your DCs. Roche goes down to the Radiant, though. Lena's the one to grab the Aegis. Well, steps in the right direction for this Radiant team. Yeah, they get to walk away and uh, get a bit of an extra purse right there and an extra life. And Secret, though, they have to deal with their connection issues. They're going to make the best Whoa. of it. Long jump coming in from S4 on the mid lane. Instantly blows up and squishes the little bug. And now they look to open up here on the Undershock. Jump in. But now comes Zoof. Right. Zoof moves forward. They get the kill. Laguna Blade helps it out as they end up trading one for one. All right. Pretty good trade. Of course, you trade a support for a core. But that is a big streak going yeah. to Melina, who's already pretty damn farmed. She's... Climbing up the ranks, still not really up to snuff with the Shadow Fiend, but she's getting there. Speaking of Shadow Fiend, you just have that Assault Cross now, and ooh, a double damage in the bottle. The end, and well, as Duza tries to make something happen towards the mid lane, they pull out a couple of rotations here to get them back. S4 makes his return along with Kuroki. They're anticipating a Duza push, but it's not there. Duza are just gonna maybe play things a bit more slow pressure the lanes back the other way maybe look to finish a couple of tier two towers oh, under shock stun on three follows up gets the kill on Earthshaker before going down Kuro steals the Laguna blade eats through his mana pool but someone has to grab the gem they do the kill they leave puppy behind with now they bring him in <laughs> all right puppy here's your new job carry that gem well, Yule's on the brew illusion okay not gonna be a kill there this is a disconnected, this is a disconnected Arteezy, so whoever's controlling him, it's us 4 though, making the committed jump onto Limbo, also dancing between Wraith King and Axmo and his Weaver. As far as like, this is too much, he gets the hell back. Meanwhile, they leave behind Arteezy, who they're trying to make work. Requiem's gonna fly on out, but it's not gonna be enough to do it. Now he's the one that's gonna be Yules up and should go down thereafter. Wraith Fire Blast sets up the stun, and that's all she wrote. Arteezy goes down, ends up being a two-for-one trade all day in advantage for Duza. Oh, well, you're starting to see the limit. Duza. Oh, well, you're starting to see the limitations of what three players can do with five heroes. Even at this caliber of play, you you just can't focus. You just don't have enough brain power. And, well, Duza are starting to claw back in it here. You look at the graph, and that's a big upward swing getting some of these kills. Oh, I, mean, oh, I don't know what else to say boy. here. There's only so much to analyze when you oh, have two people. Yep, they're getting Puppy. Not in the game. The ghost I mean, of Puppy goes down. Yeah, they kill him. Congrats, I guess. Congrats on your DC. <laughs> <laughs> you killed me today. AFK chat. Oh! oh I can't oh, no, comes in. Uh, getting cleaned up. Oh. Baby five. Lena comes back down. She's dead. Now Flo comes back to life, and they say reincarnate this son. It's a two for four. The DC characters were just bait all along. Oh boy. Oh, next level DC meta breaking out right here. Secret setting the standard for what you need to do, whether it's three versus five, five versus five, whatever it's got to be. Out here, so do so with a sign of life as Secret continue to farm up. Cheese goes to the Weaver. 
Axmo still doesn't have too much in the way of items. Not except a Manta style. We'll see a fight break out right in the mid here. Yule's up onto the Earth Shaker. S4 doing as much damage as he can. In comes RTZ. That's a Requiem. Brings down the Aegis. They've still got Flow in the front lines. There's Limbo in the back with a big Death Ward flying through. Puppy goes down. Now RTZ gets Lagoonut and finished off. They take down the Aegis and the Reincarnation, but all five still alive for Dooza as they move towards the high ground. And now the siege really begins. Buybacks available on the two DC'd heroes, but I don't think you can buy back for people when they're DC'd. I don't think so either. Weaver DC's now. All right, it's a three on four. Maybe see. Here we go. Here we go. Right back the other way. Crab's coming on in. Another team fight's going to break out. Whoa, Zoofy tries to TP out. Another big <laughs> dunk there from the Kush monster. They get the Lena. Limbo healing as best he can, but S4, he's got too much damage. Damage. He'll best the good doctor. He goes down. Reincarnation up in 20 seconds. I don't think he's going to last that long. Let's not kid ourselves. Christy, bam. Chris Christie style. Take it out. I don't think they recognize that Axmo disconnected. The Weaver just... Yeah, they're moving in. Oh, Wraith King going to get silenced up. Does have Reincarnate. So even taking him down is going to take a lot of muscle power here. They're going to be using the DC Axmo here. And S4 is just making space, though. They're getting barracks up top. Secret might oh be able to God, do this. Like, They've how are they doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, Christy comes in now. Axmo, the two defenders. Lena's up in about five he's got seconds. Split. It's a stolen split from Kuro. That makes some space for the getaway vehicle. And he's just focusing the barracks. He's like, I came for this. I am getting this. I don't know if he has the damage here. Can Kuro do this? He's trying, man. He's trying. He wants to get the one down the melee. He's not going to get it. He's oh, not Earth get Spirit it. lead me the way. Oh, 7 got it. He gets it. Kuro, now he's going to throw away his life, I think. If he can make the escape here. Stolen Laguna. Oh. Gives it to Lena. TP's away. Kuro, the madman on oh. the run, but he gets caught by the Yules. And that's a deny. He just commits suicide. Kill yourself. Uh-oh, uh -oh. S4, S4 comes, comes in. in. No reincarnation. That's a dead Wraith King. Oh, my God. Inzai shows up. What the hell happened here? All right, but so they get the main... RTZ, it was fun well, while was you were here. Glad to see our <laughs> He's got a BKB now, at least for his team to use. I feel like he should have just bought the butterfly. I guess he was afraid he wouldn't make it to the secret shop in time, so getting what items he could up top. Limbo, he's going to be isolated, and he'll actually BKB off the Orchid. Does S4 have the damage? The Mjolnir giving him that attack speed, and okay, they pick him off, and that's a BKB charge down. That's a 10-second BKB also. Uh, bad news for the Witch Doctor. Oh, oh. an undershock. He gets dunked. Hit by a totem. Now putting the Yules. Can they get the Spirit Bomb? Oh! No, he BKBs it. Now the Kush Monster takes Laguna. Zeus here. Oh, RTZ. He's DC, but he gets the kill. Now goes on to Chris Christie. Oh. He's in trouble. He goes down. Zeus, silence. He's got an yeah. ultimate, but can he cast it? I say nay. A three for one in the mid lane. Soon to be a one for four. Uh-oh, Flo. You might be heart and Christy, but you're in some trouble. You don't have your reincarnation there, little buddy. And Dooza with no buybacks available here. Weaver, he's reconnected and confused as to why his team is all dead. Yeah, it's like, what the hell happened here? He's lost to everyone, and now they're high ground being pushed in. Arteezy's back. He's like, hey, guys, thanks for the win. I'm going to go ahead and clear out the racks now. It's like he comes back goes, oh, cool, I picked up a few more kills. Okay. A few more kills. I can get a few more items. They clear out the racks mid lane. They'll get the one racks, and we're done here. And that's Dota, folks. You know, okay. Secret take game one. I have to say, this is probably the most inappropriate game for a GG call. That was the furthest thing from a GG no. I've ever seen. Yeah. That was a bad game yeah. by every day. Definition from I can both think sides. Of. For that everyone. was just. It was three v four for the good chunk of the mid game where the game really mattered. I mean, I have to say, hats off to the players for keeping their composure. Yes. No flame arenos there in in the all chat. You know, they they kept their composure. They made the best out of it. Secret did take the win, obviously.